Well, the California State Fair well underway, and there's a lot of new things that you can see as well as eat and do. Mm -hmm. Ruben Galvan's there live this morning checking out the new exhibit for made for shoppers. Hey, Ruben. Hey guys, that's right. Uh, good morning. Yes, a very uh, special treat this morning. So for the very first time right here at the California State Fair, welcome to the Rustic Charm Marketplace. We're talking arts and crafts and so much to do, so much to see. Come on and take a look for yourself. Earrings and candles and a whole lot more. Here's a Miss Carrie. How you doing, Carrie? I'm doing great, thank you. This is pretty amazing because I thought that maybe you would have had this for years now. No, this is our first year at the State Fair. I love it. All right, so let's get right to work. What do you have here? These are pretty amazing. Um, the, this is jewelry and it's all repurposed and it's patina dipped necklaces, earrings. I'm displayed on some beautiful doors. Yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you, this is a place to be. In fact, take a look at this video here at the California State Fair. There's a uh, jewelry. Of course, there's the rides and the food. And what I really love about the State Fair is the fact that it attracts, you know, uh, so much entertainment, bigger and better every year. What is that you love about the State Fair yourself? Um, I love new exhibits. Um, we haven't gotten around, but I love the wild thing and the candy maze. Yes. All right. All right. So hey, exciting. guys, back here live. Okay, so this one definitely sparked my attention. I think that this is pretty cool. It's a fire pit. Fire it is a fire pit, <laughs> and it's made by Small Town Fab. Uh -huh. And this one is a flower bud, and he can also convert them into propane. Interesting. Yes. And so artsy. <laughs> yes, and he makes them out of Madera, California. Good stuff, good stuff. And I'm so glad that you uh, you did bring that up because all these artists are, are all from out throughout the state of California. They are. Now, this is lovely. I mean, every time I go to my either my mom's house or my grandma's house, I, I see this all around the home, but these are yes. uh, with some very special messages, right? Exactly, and this is from um, Rose Creation mm -hmm. and her husband, and their charcuterie boards and coasters. Um, with different sands for your family or blessings, that type of thing. And they're out of Fresno, California. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. So you said this really also uh, is the place to uh, really visit and highlight. Now, these are candles, is that right? And soaps? Um, these are all soaps made by a company, Rockby Crystals. And she's out of Chachilla, California. Okay. So she makes soaps and scrubbies and kids stuff and it's all made in a studio at her home. Yes, ma'am, we have a uh, Sun Bliss right here. We have hibiscus right there and a whole lot My more. My favorite is watermelon. <laughs> all right, all right. And so last but not least, of course, you can't come to the State Fair without some goodies and tasty treats. Exactly, the, these treats are made by um, Heavenly Butterfly and she's out of Tulare, California. And she does fudge and cake pops and my favorite. Mm, what it's is this? a Reese's peanut butter cup and a cupcake. Come on now. <laughs> I can only eat half. Well, thank you so much, Carrie. You You're are the welcome. best. Rustic Charm Marketplace yes. is going to be here all throughout the state fair. Last word for our viewers. Um, Sunflower Production has put it on. Come support your um, small businesses. We have 24 of them this year. All right. Well, thank you so much. You are the best. Back to you guys in the station. We'll see you here at the State Fair. Have a good one. Ruben, did I hear that correctly? A Reese's peanut butter cup inside a cupcake? Yes, sir. Ooh, Take a look. Take a look. All right. Yeah. There it is. And that's the top. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That looks amazing. Thank you, Ruben. Appreciate it. Well, you might head straight to the funnel cakes and then the ice cream at the State Fair, yes. but there's another sweet treat you might want to try. Oh, Ruben is at Cal Expo this morning, giving us a little taste of the cinnamon rolls they have. Tina Makua's favorite. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Yes, take a look for yourself. We are not messing around. Good morning. Good morning. Hot cinnamon rolls right here at the California State Fair. And our guy, Willie, is working it. In fact, they're making an average of 1,000 cinnamon rolls a day here at the fair. Man, how you doing, Willie? I'm doing excellent. Thanks for having us on. Thank you, sir. All right, so so what are you doing now? It smells so good, by the way. Right now, I'm just shaking on my cinnamon and sugar onto these uh, soon-to-be fresh-baked cinnamon rolls. Yes, and your family has been doing this, what, for at least 47 years here at the fair? This is year 47 at the California State Fair. Okay. Uh, we're a mom-and-pop, family-owned and operated mobile bakery, the finest cinnamon rolls available on planet Earth for the entire history of humanity. Yes, sir. And available today 
exclusively at the California State Fair. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so what makes them world famous? That's the big question. Uh, this right here, this 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 love and attention oh. to detail. <laughs> um, this flower right here is a proprietary blend of whole wheat potatoes, soy flour uh -huh. that we have specially formulated and patented for our company. Uh -huh. um, and we've been making them just like this. All that, handmade that, right that, here at the that, fair that, in front of all your friends, right? That's right. And then we're just gonna chop these things up. They'll get that. they'll get panned up. Perfect. And, baked up, which I guess is kind of appropriate for this year's fair. <laughs> you are not messing around. All right, well, let's get right to the taste testing. How about that? Let's do Come it. over here, Willie, and we have a very special guest. Who is in the house? Ma What's, come on now. <laughs> She's gonna taste test for us. All right, so what do we have here? So Window number one. This is our uh, cinnamon roll with cream cheese frosting. It's the most popular cinnamon roll that we have. We've been serving this for 25 years okay. with frosting. Molly, come on, taste it, it, taste it, taste it. Yes, you do it, you do it, you do it. Honestly. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> come mm. over here. Window number two, mm. Willie. Wow. Okay, so uh, this one right here is what we call the works. It's the cream cheese frosting with walnuts, uh, mm. locally grown and harvested walnuts from Visalia, California. Yes, sir. This is this year's entry in the food competition also. Okay, perfect, awesome. And last but not least, these are some of your bad boys. Okay, so here we got a couple of our specialty rolls. This is a caramel crunch cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll with frosting, cinnamon toast crunch cereal, uh, gourmet caramel sauce on top. This is a maple bacon bomb. This is a, this is a 2020 two okay uh food festival best of show winner this is the 2019 food festival best of show winner this is the maple bacon bomb yes wait a minute uh, breaking news we have what is that and then we have the uh <laughs> 2023 winner best of show for the california state fair and food festival that's the caramel apple cinnamon roll sunday awesome great job molly what do you think so far what do you think what do you think i mean no wonder they're world famous i think i'm gonna grab you know what i have some work to do. I'm going to take this with me if that's okay <laughs> and head to my next interview. Is that all right? Awesome, all right. Awesome, thank you awesome. so much. Do you Come think? get a cinnamon roll. <laughs> but before we go again, the official name of, uh, of, of your cinnamon rolls and where can people find you outside of the, uh, of the state fair? We're country fair cinnamon rolls and you can find us inside the California building, the coolest and biggest, most air conditioned space on the California state fairgrounds. And when you're not here, where are you? Uh, we have a brand new brick and mortar in the town of Mariposa, California. Oh, very cool. Uh, it's called the Cinnamon Roll Bakery and Cafe. It's located on 5th Street and Highway 49 in Mariposa. Your stuff. Thank you guys. Hey, we'll see you at the fair. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh hey, where did Molly go? Gosh. Wait, I'm going with her. Where, where the heck did she go? She absconded <laughs> with your cinnamon roll. She got work to do. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Ruben. So good. An educational exhibit is bringing local wildlife up close and personal so you can see. Yeah, Ruben was out at the state fair this morning checking out the animals that they have there. All right, guys, good morning. We're getting a little wild right here at Wild Things Adventure, only here at the California State Fair, the place to be this year. And let me tell you something. I'm telling you, these exotic animals are pretty amazing. How about that exotic? <laughs> <laughs> I already like you already, Gabe. How you doing, sir? Terrific. I'm glad to be here. Well, this is all about education. And of course, I mean, all about our friends. Who do we have here? Uh, well, these are two of our, of our alligators that were confiscated by Cal Fish and Wildlife. They came to our center, and they're, they're education animals. They travel mostly in the school groups, but we're here today with kind of a fun kind of a golf course exhibit and yes, sharing our our largest reptile that lives here in our country up and close all right our very next stop red kangaroos wow look at these little guys Aren't they awesome <laughs> yeah, yeah so here we are we're now in australia we're in the australian area we have two young um, red kangaroo. Uh -huh. These guys are just under a year old, both females. Um, uh, one day they'll be about 70 pounds and be able to move at 45 or 50 miles an How hour. How cute are they? Now, can I hug or, them? Well, yeah, but we'll do that after, <laughs> at the, off camera. Hey, let's come over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speak up, guys. Man, they're making some noise. Yeah, they're making some noise. That's the Australian bird that lives in big flocks. And imagine waking up to that every morning. It's a great call. 
And you know, you, you're all about taking care of these animals, but also really, uh, you know, highlighting what makes them so fascinating. Right, exactly. We love to talk about the natural history, the biology of the animal, but we, the most important thing is to get people to understand these animals are not where they belong, they should be in the wild, and that we need to respect and do our best to preserve these wonderful wild creatures. Yes, sir. And speaking of wild creatures, oh my goodness, is Santa Claus in town? Seriously? <laughs> yes. What? We have reindeers? Yeah, this is the off season. This is definitely off season. These are two young reindeer. This is this is Holly and Tinsel, and they're just a year old. You can see they have the beautiful velvet on their antlers, um, and these are girls. A lot of people don't know that girl reindeer uh -huh. get antlers. They uh, they're the only deer species where the females have antlers, just like the males do. Uh, kind of an equal opportunity deer species. Pretty neat. And so the big question is this: How are they loving the state fair so far? Uh, well, they're indoors and it's air conditioned. <laughs> so coming out of last week, this has just been bliss for them. They're coming in here at 68 degrees in this building, and they are loving it. And you're getting and thousands and thousands of visitors. All right, come on over here because is this guy just waking up? Because uh, you know, I mean, look at him. Look at him. Look Come over here. Isn't he amazing? That's Dr. Doom. That's a Doomerill's boa constrictor from okay. Madagascar. They get oh, about twice that size at the full size. One amazing animal to talk about. We're all trying to protect lemurs. And by protecting lemurs that live in Madagascar, we're yes, also sir. protecting this wonderful snake that lives right alongside of them. All right. And last but not least, guys, the star of the show. We arrived and we, we got to make sure that we show him some love because look at this guy. I mean, he's ready to party only <laughs> here at the State Fair. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Gabe, and who is this? Uh, this is Drip and his brother Drop <laughs> is in there as well. And these guys, this is their second time at the California State Fair. They were here talking about water resources a few years back. These are North American river otters. And the coolest thing to talk about with these guys is they're doing great in our area. They've made a great comeback. They're living here in the American River and the Sacramento River, thriving right alongside of us. Gabe, you are the best. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Wild Things Adventure. Hey, guys, come on down and meet your new friends. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, my gosh. Otters are so great. I know. I hear they're stinky, though. Yeah. I mean, you'd be stinky, they have too. Like a if you, musk like, or something, it. and you're just covered in fish, fish all the time. guts. Yeah. Still cute. They're so cute.